Okay, so um, I got the board pretty much done. Um, it's burnt and it's stained. It's gonna dry overnight before I put any clear coats on it. The next step is gonna take these little guys and get these ready to race. So what I need to do is drill a hole in the stomachs, right in the center of the stomachs of each of these horses and glue them onto a golf tee that I have here. I cut all the tops of the golf tees off so that it's just a nice smooth shank that I can stick in this hole. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna use epoxy to glue them in so it'll be nice and solid. Um, I'm sorry guys, these horses just look so ridiculous. I don't know what it is about them, but little action figure horses, they just are like, they're really weird. So. Um, I'm like kind of grossed out by them actually. Okay, so what I need to do is um, I got my drill here. I'm using the same 3 16th inch drill bit. I got a little piece of tape here to give me my depth on how far I want to drill into these bad boys. And I need a way to clamp these solidly. I don't want to break these guys. Um, and so I think if I just put it in my vise here, that should secure it nicely uh, so I can drill that hole and then we'll be gluing that in. So let's see how this goes. Doing some surgery here. So I'm just going to use this epoxy, glue these um, pegs into these horses, and then it'll just be adding clear coat to the board, and um, I'm actually going to add some little rubber bumpers to the bottom of the board just to, um, you know, make it a little bit more convenient for the customer so that it's not banging on a glass countertop or table or whatever they have, you know, it'll be little rubber rubber bumpers on each of the corners, which I'll show you. All right, guys, so the board is all done. I used um, lacquer on this one. I've never used lacquer before. I used a spray lacquer, which just came in a, like a spray paint style can, and it worked really well. Lacquer, I found, gives it like a real hard, like almost like glass finish, whereas polyurethane's kind of like more malleable and I don't use a real high satin polyurethane so it doesn't come out like shiny, um, but this this uh, lacquer came out real well. It's real nice and solid, which is what I wanted. I also got these little clear rubber bumper, sticky bumper things that I put on each of the four corners um, so that the board would sit nice, nicely on the table, won't slide around. Um, the board won't mark up any nice table that the customer has or whatever, so I think it works out well. Um, so it's all ready to go. Let me show you how this game works. I got all these little horses organized in their starting gate. Um, so how this game works is you need a you need two dice and you need a deck of cards. For the cards, you can throw away the aces, throw away the jokers, throw away the kings. You don't need any of those. Um, and then you take the remaining deck, which is going to be 44 cards, and you deal them out all of them. Just get rid of all of them. And everybody, so now that everybody who's playing has a hand of, you know, three, four, five, six cards, depending on how many people are playing. And also, those people should have some kind of chips, or if you want to use poker chips, that's great. If you want to use, um, you know, coins, quarters, that's great also. Um, all of them can be the same value, it doesn't really matter. Um, but that's what everybody needs. So let's just say everybody starts off with three dollars and quarters. Um, that's how we'll get started with the game. So the next step is going to be rolling dice. So, so if I'm the dealer, the person next to me is going to roll two dice. Let's say they roll a one and a two, so a total of three. So now we take the guy, the horse, in lane three and we move him back from the starting gate. This first section is labeled S for start. Um, we move him back from the starting gate to this next section labeled 25. So now this horse is going to cost 25 cents moving forward in the game. Next guy rolls dice, let's say he rolls a three and a four, total of seven. Number seven horse moves back to the next section here, which is labeled 50, so that horse is going to cost 50 cents. So on and so forth until, let's say the next roll is an 11, 
move the 11 horse back to 75 cents. Let's say we roll 11 again, we can't do anything with him, so we roll it, we're gonna just skip that, we'll roll it again, let's say the eight horse is now gonna be worth a dollar. So now we got our game organized. These four horses have just been scratched from the race. So numbers three, number seven, number eight, and number 11, those four horses have been scratched from this race, um, and so um, they're all gonna cost money moving forward. So now the game really begins, and so the next person who's up is gonna roll two dice. Let's say he rolls a one and a one. So that means that horse number two is gonna advance down his lane one hole. And uh, let's say the next person rolls, let's say he rolls a one and a two, which is uh, for lane number three. Lane number three has been scratched from this race, and lane number three costs 25 cents. So whoever just rolled the number three owes 25 cents to the pot. Next person rolls, let's say he rolls a nine. Number nine horse advances down his lane one. Next person rolls, let's say he rolls an 11. 11 has been scratched from the race, so he owes, whoever just rolled that number 11 owes 75 cents to the pot. So the pot's gonna continue to grow because people are gonna be rolling the dice that uh, represent these scratched horses, and the other horses are gonna continue advancing down their lanes um, because people will be rolling these numbers and eventually you'll get to the point where somebody will roll a, um, a value to get their horse all the way to the finish line. So let's just say in this case the 12, which represents queen, um, in this case because you got 10, then 11 is jack, 12 is queen. Let's just say the queen, um, number 12 horse, gets to the finish line first. That means the game is over, and now whoever has a queen in their hand gets a portion of the pot. So um, there's going to be four queens that have been dealt out. So if there's four separate people who each have a queen, they each get a portion of the pot. They'll split the pot evenly, so everybody gets a quarter of the pot. If one person has all four queens, then they get all of the pot. So that's how the game works, and it gets real exciting. Um, it's really exciting when you get to the point where like all the horses are way up here, and everybody starts standing up and looking at it like this, and Graham is yelling, Jimmy, roll a 12, roll a 12, roll a 12. And then everybody, as soon as it happens, you'll have about one or two or three people go, yeah! And then the rest of the people are gonna go, son of a, or yell something that they probably shouldn't, especially if you're playing with little kids. But this game's a lot of fun. Um, you can lose a lot of money really fastly, and uh, you can lose a lot of friends really fast also. But guys, I had a lot of fun building this project. If you end up playing this or, or, or building this and playing it, send me a video, send me a picture of you guys playing this because I know it can get wild and it'd be fun for us all to watch. Um, but I hope you guys liked watching me build this one. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more videos coming and uh, I'd love for you guys to stay updated on that. Hit the like button and uh, have a great day. The game's over, and whoever has a card that is represented by that horse that just won, so if you have a four in your hand, now um, you're, you have just won a portion of the pot. So there's going to be four, four cards, I, I picked a bad example here, but there's going to be a number of four cards, or a number of four, four cards, <laughs> uh, that's, uh, okay. Well, let's, I'm already too far this way. So there's going to be four people that have a number four card. Or there might be one person who has two number four cards and two other people. <laughs> this is bad.